Hey everybody and welcome back to Northern Lion Makes Himself Look Very Ignorant by playing GeoGuessr. Let's begin. Of course, the seed should be in the video description below, but I have not seen it yet for myself. Now, we we did very well in our last run. I'm hoping not to be a little bit, you know, I don't know, selfish about it, but I'm hoping that we get to spend a little bit more time in North America so I have maybe a better chance here. This looks like North America. Custom built storage solutions. We could just Google that phone number, I guess. Rent to own, 90 days, same as cash. Seems to me like this could be, uh, it should be, let's make sure we're zoomed in at the proper focus here, Canada or the United States. Easiest way to tell which one specifically we're in. My hunch is the U.S. here, but there's, you know, Canada and the U.S., parts of them look very similar. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that it's, um... But it's the U.S. now that I look at it. Old Union Golf Course. That's like an American thing. Hayesville, Murphy, and Franklin. Could be anywhere. Let's keep moving a little bit here. What's that sign? That sign could help us out. But mostly I'm looking to see if there's um like uh, mile markers or speed limit signs. If there's like a... If it says 50, we're probably looking at miles. If it says 80, we're probably looking at kilometers. Custom cabinets. Hmm, just keep it. I, there's so many signs out here that I find it hard to believe we won't see where we are soon. This says USA right here. Why would there be a sign that says USA, though? Maybe we're in, like, a border town or something like that. Amish furniture, one and a half miles. Okay. This implies direct TV ad. Um, Amish furniture. Where are there large populations of Amish people in the United States? Like, Pennsylvania... Parts of the Midwest, maybe? Admittedly, I don't really know, so I'm going to keep taking a little bit of a trip down here. Chevron. I think that's a Chevron. It might be an Exxon. If it's a Chevron, and I think it is. Um, we have these in the west coast of Canada. So my inclination... Wow, go back, please. My inclination would be that this is in the west coast of the Americas, or of the United States of America. Um, so this could be like Oregon or Washington State. Antioch. Baptist Church. Baptist uh, denomination of Catholicism has a little bit of a reputation for being a Southern American thing. Not South America, but the Southern part of the United States of America. Wow, that camera got terrible temporarily. Definitely America, given the gas prices. Not that I had any, uh, any uh, inkling that it was Canada after we saw some of the other stuff. 2.5 miles. Revival Baptist Church. Two Baptist churches... Now I'm starting to think that we might be in Texas. Admittedly, I don't know these area codes. So I think we're just going to keep moving a little bit here. Normally, I might be a little bit more um, apt to kind of, you know, guess early. But I want to make sure that we're doing this right. This, this could be Texas. It could be Louisiana, Kentucky. The Snapdragon Shop. That doesn't tell me too much. I can't zoom in more and still... Be able to see. Lakeside Village. It's a lake. N lake Notelli. Again, if I had um, all the time in the world, I would just comb the United States of America map for Lake Notelli. But um, it's not really my thing. It's not how I like to play the game. Discover Blairsville. Mountain. Okay. So because we see Mountain here, and I'm trying to start putting it together, I'm starting to think that maybe we're in, like, West Virginia, because the college football team from West Virginia is called the Mountaineers. It's not Southern United States, but, it, you know, it's, it's north enough that I could maybe see this being, like, where there's a lot of Amish people. I don't know. What was it? Blairsville. Uh, that's South Carolina. Okay, Blairsville. Charlottesville. Richmond. We saw also like Franklin. Hmm. Kate's playing some Rebirth. You might be able to hear that in the background. Sorry, West Virginia. I was in the wrong... Why, why? It could be Virginia. It could be Kentucky as well. Let's take a quick look at Kentucky. Oh, I didn't mean to click there. Um, Blairsville. Blairsville. I don't know. It could be Indiana as well. Where's their lakes, though? I don't see too many lakes in West Virginia. Small ones, maybe. Is there a Blairsville nearby? South Boston, West Virginia? Weird. Um, 
What about South Carolina, maybe? I'm just looking at lakes now. This could take us forever. Let's take a little bit more of a look. Admittedly, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, oh, my God. I'm kind of lost here. But I'm thinking I probably will go West Virginia. I mean, there's other mountainous parts of the United States. This could be in Colorado. I don't know. Does this look like Colorado? Oh, and, oh I see a... Uh, Okay, Old Union, maybe we're in Philadelphia. I mean, that is, a, or not Philadelphia but necessarily, but Pennsylvania. That is a picture of the Liberty Bell. Uh, okay, Pennsylvania. You know, there's some lakes here. Roanoke. Wait, wasn't Roanoke in, like, Maryland? Oh, we just looked at that at the map. I don't know why I was starting to think that um, that's where it was. Um, lakeside properties. Could be on the shores of Lake Erie. Dunkirk, that's upstate New York, Owen Glen, okay, well, I'm going to go Pennsylvania, it was Blairsville, discover Blairsville, it's not really that much of a, uh, it's not really that great of a selling point, I feel, let's, let's say we're in like, we're near Allentown, the capital of Pennsylvania, wait, that might be Harrisburg, whatever, you were 982 kilometers away. It was in Georgia, yeah, just like just off uh, the co or the state line. Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee, it gets hotter than a hoochie coochie. That's where it was, I guess. All right, that's where Alan Jackson's from. Uh, I'm content with that with that answer. So I was talking to Zen of uh, Zen and Cyrene, and he was telling me that. You can't stick with old camera equals United States or equals uh, Australia meta because there's a lot of parts of the United States that are actually using old or have used old cameras as well um, because apparently that's where the Google program, the Google Earth program started. So it started, you know, 10, 15 years ago. I guess photographic car mounted technology ain't what it used to be. So I'm going to see which direction we turn onto this road. Okay. I think I've, I may have actually like seen. This exact one before. I don't remember where it was, though, but, you know, my hunch, Garst, uh, we are on the right side of the road, I think. My hunch is that, um, you know, what's corn? If you're thinking about the United States, corn is Iowa. I'm not sure, though. It looked a little bit, like, more, I was going to say, like, more desert-ish, but no, this, this could quite easily be the Midwest of the United States. Please, please free me from this terrible camera. I think what it is is if they have new photos, they use those. But if they have, if they don't have new photos, they just use like the old shit that they did like ten years ago. Man, did people actually used to browse like Google Street View like this? This is a trip down memory lane. Uh, get ready to guess if you're playing the seat along with me and don't want to have it spoiled for yourself because I am. Uh, I'm probably gonna guess soon. I don't like dealing with this old camera, and to be honest with you, I don't. You know, the fact that we're right out in the country here makes me think that we're probably not gonna be encountering any. Uh, more useful kind of contextual clues anytime soon, but I'm willing to do my due diligence. You know, just zoom ahead here. You can hear me tapping a little bit, probably. I hope I'm not driving in reverse here. Like, the only way for me to know is to actually see a sign that is kind of, like, in my direction. I think. All right, I'm going to give this, like, five more updated screens. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Give this a big one. All right, I'm going to say it's in Des Moines, Iowa. I saw corn. They grow a lot of corn, many different parts of the United States. Iowa is what is known for corn, though. Honestly, given our situation, I don't think it's that bad. It was actually in uh, northeastern Colorado. I'll accept it. Okay. Hopefully, we're not going in this direction. To be honest with you, this could, uh, in fact, I would be surprised if this were not Canada or the United States. This looks like the 401, the main highway in, like, uh, eastern Ontario. Uh, is that kilometers? That's, oh, it's miles. Okay, so we're in the U.S. This is not American only. We've just gotten, to be honest with you, we've gotten lucky. Not to say that it's, uh, you know, better to be in America and GeoGuessr, but it's better for me. Because I can actually read what the signs are. <laughs> Well, you know, a great indicator. Let's go back a little bit here. A great indicator is a night's in. Some camping. Okay. Um, but a great indicator of where we are would be like these signs here that we're coming across. Oh, there's a McDonald's. It could be anywhere. <laughs> there's a 
There's a Hardee's. Now, if I remember correctly, Hardee's and Carl's Jr. operate in different parts of the United States. So there being a Hardee's here indicates that we are probably on the eastern side of the United States because there are Carl's Jr.'s in California. So Hardee's were probably somewhere in the northeast. What's this just say, like, New York City, Verona? Well, oh, that's the AMA Museum. That's what uh, Reddit sponsored that, I think. Um, we're going to take a little turn off here. It's, uh, it's very nice, rich foliage. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, this, this is um, any city in the world. Venture Club of Staunton, or Staunton. Where do you think? Where do you think we could be? Many people probably already know this. Some of you might even live here. How crazy is that? I, <laughs> I am learning nothing. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. I'm zooming in too far. It's making our screen go weird. Not that it's not weird all the time anyway as a result of these weird like graphical glitches. If I zoom out, sometimes it gets better. A little bit. All right, let's take a quick trip down here. I think I went like one too far. Yeah, I want to still be able to see the signs. All right, I'm just going to tap it out here. Tap, tap, tap it out. I have my guesses. I'm thinking that we're in the northeast of the United States, maybe upstate New York, maybe uh, Ohio. Did we, we, we shouldn't be in this lane, should we? Why do we get turned around there? No, I want to go away from the McDonald's. But we're not going to be able to read any signs in this direction. Oh, but that's like a like a military college or a school or something. This could be an important sign. Should read the water tower as well. Receiving employee parking, employee entrance. Employee entrance to what though? Oh, wait, wait, wait. McQuay, that doesn't tell me god dang anything. You know, say what you will about being in Europe, but it's usually pretty easy to at least parse like a general region out of it. I can't see what that says. But it's McQuay International, but I haven't like I don't know. It might be Albany. Could that possibly say Albany? I mean, I was thinking upstate New York, but I think Albany is like a little little bit more metropolitan than this. Shipping and receiving. That doesn't tell me anything. I think that's like a storage facility up here. But we'll, we'll go into the town and I'll at least give it a, a genuine crack at it, you know? Oh, man, these signs are blurred as heck. They have pizza here. Bastion Homes. Ciro's Pizza. That doesn't tell us anything. New York Pizza. Oh, man, come on here. What is Verona Crossing? You got Pizza by the Slice. Bastion Homes. Hmm. I apologize for that constant, like, white thing over here. The square in the corner. That's not me. Federated Auto Parts. All right, well, we know it's the 612 and Route 11. Let's see if we can at least find Route 11. Don't they, where does, where does the, inter or where does the interstate start? Apparently not in Maine. That's Canada. I thought it started in like... I thought it started in like Chicago. But maybe it's actually California? I thought that was like Route 66. Okay, we're looking for 11. There's 10. Now these ones actually are dictated by um, their usage, I think. 180. We're looking for 612. Probably not in Juarez, Mexico, if I had to guess. Well, away down yonder by the Chattahoochee, it gets hotter than a hoochie's coochie. Could be, it could be in Texas, I guess. I know it said Verona. What is this like? Well, let's move forward a little bit. I'm, I'm, I don't like combing the map just to see where we are. Not that I think it's a scumbag tactic. It's just not my favorite way to do it. Harrisonburg. Wasn't that in, like, West Virginia when we were looking at it? Maybe our, our failure on the past answer can be a good one for us here. Parkersburg, Roanoke, Johnson City, 
Harrisonburg. I know there's Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which we just saw. Harrisonburg, there it is right there. And Staunton is to the other side. Yeah, okay. Well, crap, let's just say we're... Well, we're not in Staunton, right? Because it says turn left to go to Staunton, turn right to go to Harrisonburg. But I think we're close. But we're in like a sort of metropolitan city. Well, where does the interstate get off? Whatever, I'm going to say that this is it. I'm very pleased with this. We were nine kilometers away, so we were a little closer. Oh, no, we were, we were, I think that was pretty good. 4971. That's the most impressed I've been with an answer that I've given thus far. Um, so that, I would never have guessed Staunton, West Virginia at first. But I'm very glad that we thought that our first place was West Virginia. That saved me. All right, I'm going to go a little faster here, hopefully see some signs. These signs, yeah, they look not North American to me. Salanya. Um, I don't know yet. I don't want to take a guess, but I think it could be Sweden. Or Russia. Yeah, that, that looks more like um, like Czech or Slovakian. Could be Russian, though. This might sound... Uh, completely ignorant. I'm honestly just not aware, but uh, yeah, it could be like Ukraine or something like that as well. Are there are there like vast stretches of just open land like this in in like the Czech Republic? I don't know. Or in Slovakia, for that matter. Are we passing here, or are we? I think I'm going backwards, which you should not be doing. But let's see what's on this truck. Pilsner Urkel, straight up. This is a weird one. I'm going to guess that we're in the Czech Republic because Pilsner Urkel is a Czech beer. And the signs looked a little Czech to me. It, it, my, with my best guess, which is not very good. So we can't be, uh, you know, too far away if we're in the right country. And, you know, the signs, they looked a little, uh, you know, I thought they could be Slovakian as well. Maybe that tells us that we're kind of close here. Um, let's, let's turn around so that we can actually travel. Oh, that's too far. So we can actually travel in the right direction here and maybe see a, a road sign that'll help us know where we are. I know I've traveled too far in this direction now. Oh, don't slow down. There we go. Are we still going to the right? This is the wrong. Oh, God. This is why you never drive with me. All right, just hit forward. Don't worry about using your mouse so much. Keep it going here. Just traveling along. That guy's really... I'm hitting the button, but he's getting further away. This guy's hes speeding. And now we get turned around again. I, that, that time, I didn't do anything. I don't know what's happening there. Um, maybe we had to pull a Yui or something like that. I do see some, like, water towers in the distance, but they're, they're very much in the distance. Let's see if we can get maybe some more defining characteristics from these cars, maybe. I don't know what, what people in the Czech Republic drive. Uh, but let's keep it moving here. Mm, I'm gonna have to make a guess soon, I think. So if you're if you're playing along at home, a guess is is forthcoming here. Ah, uh, let's let's. Every time we get like on a little bit of a higher plane of visibility, I'm like, okay, we're gonna see that water tower or whatever that is, like a wind turbine or something in the future. I should have looked at that car, but the trucks might have an indicator as well. Dasher, intelligent logistics. I I recognize, by the way, that they do make or they do you know export Pilsner Urkel. To other places. I'm just I'm taking my own guess here, you know. No, no. Look back at the truck. Now back at the truck. Now back to me. Slovakia. Uh, it says it's the truck is from Bratislava. Now that doesn't mean that uh, we're in Bratislava, which is the capital of Slovakia. Um, you know, you're a truck sim. You can go through many countries on a daily basis. But we could be in Bratislava. Dubiava. Let's assume that truck started in Bratislava. And we're going to take kind of like a radius around it. Is Dubiava the city name? I'm just going to take like a realistic kind of look. I don't see a Dubiava. So let's let's keep going here. We could also be in Slovakia. I should give that a, a real chance. 
I don't know why I have this idea that it has to be going from Slovakia to another country. Maybe they're staying in. Could be Hungary. Dubiava. Man, I hate trying to look for these. Like, they're not villages, really, but kind of smaller towns. All right, we'll keep moving here a little bit. Passing trucks so far has given us like a lot of um, a lot of good information. If I had to, if I had to pick right now, I might pick Hungary. Actually, it's a bit of a larger country. Makes me think that maybe it has larger. Um, oh, Lipova and Okro something. Um. Lipova. Now, sometimes these don't show up in English the same way that they show up in their native languages. I wonder if it could be like, um, if it could be this part of the Ukraine. Lipova. L Lviv. Um, or it could be like Ljubljana. Yeah, like Lublin or something. Lipova, Lublin. I don't know. I know Poland, you know. Poland, Ukraine. They're large. What, what else was near here? Hmm. Just just to be on the safe side, let's do a little bit more exploration. The language, though, it seemed less Polish and more like... More Slovakian, to be honest with you. Watch out for that truck. I need to see this sign. I think it's going to tell us exactly the same thing, but maybe I can get a better look at it. Or maybe, uh, now that I look at it, these letters are more, um, unless, is that, what letter is that? Oh, it's a U, okay. It's a U in my language. Um, I want to take one last quick look in Slovakia, but I'm about to guess here. Lipova. Um, I'm, I'm also thinking that they could be, like, Croatian. Somewhere semi near the border. I didn't mean to double click there. It, oh, it could also be Serbian. I think at, at the very least, like these letters look look kind of right. Uh, maybe it's a little bit not. Um, there's like not quite enough like Z's to make me feel. I, I'm gonna go with my initial guess of the Czech Republic. And um, I'm going to say that it's near Bruno because it's close to the borders. All right, we were off, but we were in the right country. Ah, well, that was way too small for me to probably realistically find. But hey, uh, I'm glad that we ended up in the right country. We got a lot of points out of that. If we do very well, this could end up being our best one, but it looks to me like we're probably... Gonna end up doing a little worse than last time. Uh, look, I'm gonna guess that we're in Asia. These roads look Korean, honestly. But I've only been to Korea in Asia. Oh, Singapore Chinese Girls School Model United Nations Conference. Uh, we can probably put ourselves very close here. So we're in Singapore, which is roughly... Admittedly, I'm gonna make myself look like an idiot here. Singapore, please don't be, don't make me look like a fool. It's this one, right? No? Oh, no. Is Singapore in Southeast Asia? This is the only one that could have made me look really bad. <laughs> uh, okay, let's think about this. Oh, there it is. All right. S Singapore's not an island, really. Well, I guess it is. I feel like an idiot. Um... I'm assuming, let's let's try to find like a, uh, a a road sign. This looks like a pretty big road. It's an enormous school. Chinese International School. I would like to be like extremely close to the answer here. The problem is, you know, Singapore is not enormous. But I don't want to, you know, zoom in this deep and start combing. 
Singapore Sports Hub, Singapore Indoor Stadium, Art and Science Museum, Labrador Nature Reserve. Could it be on the island? Universal Studios Singapore. It doesn't seem like it would be there. National University of Singapore, Singapore Polytechnic. University town. I mean, it seems like it would probably be in that region. Is that like the, the Google sign for college university? Is like that brown color? If so, what's red? Hospital, I guess. Is that correct? Yeah, hospital. Okay. Well, let's look for brown then. Queenstown Stadium, Management Development Institute. Commonwealth Drive. I mean, it seems like we could be on a Commonwealth Drive right now. What about this? Henry Park Primary School. A little bit younger than uh, we're trying to find here. High School. High School of Mathematics. Are we really going to comb Singapore? Singapore Discovery Center. Looking for every single educational facility that they have? I'm going to spoil it. The answer to that question is no. Because the schools, like, there's probably a lot of them. I mean, Singapore as a population has, like, you know, a million people on this, maybe even more on this, like, relatively tiny area. I assume they got a decent number of schools there. Institution for Engineers. The Rainforest Sports Hub. I think we saw it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to guess that it's, maybe it's Nanyang Girls School? Let's take a crack at it. We were off by 2.7 kilometers. That's pretty close. Ah. Wait, it was. Or no, that's where I guess. This is where it actually is. Correct. All right. Well, we got 19,630. I think that's pretty close to the best we've ever done. We were very close except for that one. The furthest away was when we went to uh, Iowa when it should have been in Colorado. But that one was nearly impossible to guess anyway. Uh, I'll put that seed in the video description so you could have been playing along this whole time. But you can play along next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.